before we begin, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you find yourself enjoying this self-hypnosis styled guided meditation, please donate to the channel using the PayPal link in the description box below. And if you're new to these meditations, well, whether you realize it or not, yes, you can listen as often as you like, as you allow the messages to build upon each other, becoming easier and easier each time you listen to completely relax your body and open your subconscious mind as you awaken your spiritual essence, explore, heal, connect, simply allowing yourself to be at peace with yourself, so peacefully relaxed that you wouldn't even disturb a feather, as your conscious mind and all thoughts of the day simply fade away. Finally, as we now begin, the background music in this recording is also available with just the affirmations and not the guided meditation. So if you like, you can listen to the background music with the healing frequencies and quiet affirmations anytime you like. To simply allow the emotionally soothing, calming, and reflective sounds to free you from any distractions of the day and allow your powerful and creative conscious mind to simply go to sleep. So now, doing whatever you have to do to make yourself comfortable, take a deep breath in. Right here, right now. Well, this is your time that you've chosen for yourself to let go of the world and to embrace yourself, to be at peace with yourself, for yourself. And for some people, to emotionally heal and others to spiritually explore not only what's possible, but in some cases, what already is. Even if we don't already know we know. Even if sometimes we forget to remember what already is without even knowing the delicate intricacies of how Because whether we realize it or not, well, sometimes the worries and concerns of the day, well, they amplify unresolved attempts of yesterday and collide with the hopes and dreams of tomorrow, all casting, casting a, a cacophonous serenade that shakes us and changes our natural desire to simply be ourselves. And for some people, well those days to the conscious mind anyways, create a seemingly insurmountable wall of fragmented attempts, broken hearts, false starts, and hopeless illusions, personal dreams washed away by emotional waves and eventually lost to the sands of time. And to some, the conscious mind, well, it just wants to make it through the day. And we don't judge or blame or lose ourselves in fantastic pantomimes or elusive aberrations because, well, deep down inside, your subconscious mind knows. Your powerful and creative subconscious mind already knows to share with you 
in this deepened state of heightened awareness. This heightened state of deepened relaxation where time and space are quickly becoming one as you continue to slow down faster and faster. Your powerful and creative subconscious mind wants you to know not only what's possible, but in some cases, what already is. Even if once again, we don't already know you know. Or even if sometimes we forget to remember what already is without even knowing we already know. The delicate intricacies of how. So, taking another deep breath in and settling your body down. Just doing whatever you have to do to make yourself comfortable. Today, we're going to take a little journey deep inside, so deep inside and so personal to a very special garden deep inside your soul, to a special place that once again is so deep inside and so personal that you might not even remember that it's there that this secret part of you has always been a part of you. And if you like, you really can visit it any time you want, simply by closing your eyes and focusing on yourself. And once again, not just focusing on the you you know, but the you you don't know you know, which is just as real, just as strong, and just as beautifully powerful as the rest of you. So now, as you now take another deep breath in, and as you exhale, I'd like you to imagine that you're standing at the top of a large flight of stairs. A large flight of stairs that overlooks a courtyard with a large, and private garden. And there's no one around to disturb you. And no one can see you. And no one can hear you. It's such a beautiful and private and personal garden deep inside your sacred soul. That when you think about it, well, you really are the only one who knows it's here. More importantly, how to get here. And in a moment, we're going to walk down these stairs and visit this sacred garden hidden deep in your soul. A magical and sacred garden where everything is possible and everything can be. And everything, whether you realize it or not, already is. Now when you look down the steps which lead to this hidden garden, the first thing you'll notice is that the steps seem to go on forever. Not only because the possibilities of your powerful and creative mind are indeed infinite, but also to protect you from any one idea, thought, to find you. So when you reach the bottom and enter the garden deep within your soul, you'll be forever safe and secure and at peace. And although the steps seem to go on forever, for you, right here, right now, It'll actually only take 10 steps to reach the deepest level of hypnotic rest. To reach the deepest level of your soul. 
to reach your highest spiritual awakening, to allow your conscious mind to finally go to sleep. So, in a moment, I'm going to count backwards from 10 to 1, and on each number, you're going to allow yourself to take one step down, deeper and deeper, into your subconscious awakening, always slowing down faster and faster, deeper and deeper, one step closer to the beautiful essence that you already know, where you already are. And 10, slowing down faster and faster, allowing the waves of relaxation to wash over you, relaxing all of the muscles in your body, all of the muscles from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Simply letting go of all of the stress and tensions. Allowing all of the worries and concerns to simply fade away. Allow everything. Once again, not only what you know you know, but also what you don't know you know. To simply become a distant memory of a different time in your life. Because whether you realize it or not, this time, right here, right now, is different. Well, this time, well, this is your time. And I, taking another step down, Drifting deeper and deeper, ten times deeper with each breath, allowing everything to simply fade away, even allowing my voice to begin to fade into the background, as your powerful and creative subconscious mind begins to lead you deeper and deeper. And eight, taking another step. Allowing the excitement to grow. Not because I say so, but because if you begin to listen closely now, you can hear something calling you from down below, from deep inside. And you can feel, even if you didn't already know, that there is a part of you that brought you here today. A part of you that needs you part of you that needs your love. And seven, deeper and deeper, continuing, slowing down faster and faster, ten times deeper with each breath, allowing the waves of relaxation to wash over your conscious mind, simply allowing the day to, to just fade away time and space becoming one as today fades into yesterday, filling yourself with wonder and joy. And for some people, as we enter this level of the mind, well, it just feels good to relax this deeply. And you may be surprised to notice that simply taking this journey begins a process of spiritual cleansing and emotional healing. So much so that that some people, if they've allowed themselves to relax deep enough, may find a tear streaming down their cheek. Almost as if they suddenly feel closer to an understanding, a belonging, and at peace with yourself. But knowing now and trusting now that all movements of the body and all reactions are perfectly normal, perfectly natural, and all sensations 
or just the body's way of letting go of forgotten emotions that are stored at this level of the mind so that you can fully relax deeper and deeper. And of course, everyone experiences this process differently, but everyone should already begin to feel safe and secure. And most importantly, peace. So six, slowing down faster and faster. Some people find at this level of the mind that their senses are so heightened that they begin to feel a tingling sensation in their fingers or their arms. And others may begin to, to feel a sense of time distortion where seconds feel like hours and hours speed by like seconds. Where as little as 15 minutes of hypnotic rest feels like three hours of the deepest, most peaceful and relaxing sleep. And five is taking a moment and looking around in your mind's eye. You're halfway down the staircase and you can see the garden getting closer. And for whatever reason, there seems to be some kind of natural pull or allure or a calling from down below, just reaching up to you from inside. Just simply come down and say hello. Maybe if you look around in your mind's eye, if you look up at the sky, and marvel at how peaceful and tranquil, serene, the all-knowing, clearest of blue skies smiles down upon you, encouraging you in this journey, deeper and deeper. And four, deeper and deeper, simply remembering to forget, letting go, Allowing your powerful conscious mind to simply fade into the background and sleep. As three, you're almost there at the garden, the bottom of the steps where your subconscious mind will be fully open and you'll finally be able to look within and say hello to a very special part of you that you might not have spoken to in a very, very long time, but it wants to talk to you. You can feel it reaching out and calling to you. And whether you realize it or not, the subconscious part of you is so strong and so powerful and wants so much to speak with you that it actually brought you here today, it chose this meditation and this moment chose these moments to say hello. So two, deeper and deeper, almost there, feeling so safe, so at peace with yourself that you wouldn't even disturb a feather. And finally, as we get to the last step, you'll see a little gate in front of you just a simple gate that keeps out everything that shouldn't be here. And it could be a white picket fence for some and for others. It might be a beautifully ornate iron fence with flowers, keeping out everything that's not supposed to be here. And it just feels good to know that you're protected from the outside world. It feels good to know that everything that's beyond this gate belongs. So taking one last step down and one, putting your hands on the gate and walking through peacefully into this hidden garden deep within your soul. Now with this level of your mind, your mind and body should be so relaxed 
that all of your muscles feel so heavy that you couldn't move them even if you wanted to. All of your muscles, even your eyelids, they might feel so heavy and so relaxed that they feel stuck tight like glue. And if you like, you can take a moment now and see just how relaxed you've allowed yourself to become by trying to open your eyes. But if you've allowed yourself to relax deep enough and fully open your powerful and creative subconscious mind, you may be surprised to find that your eyelids are stuck tight like glue. And your conscious mind has actually gone to sleep. So, if you like, you can try to open your eyes or you can just let it go and continue to let the peaceful ways of relaxation continue to wash over you, sending you deeper and deeper. As your feet sink into the grass, as you close the gate behind you, feeling so calm, so peaceful, allowing your mind's eye, your intuitive subconscious awareness to look around this garden. There's so much to see as you breathe in the familiar smells, maybe getting goosebumps as you fully experience the familiarity of yourself and the beautiful inner world around you. Now, just as you're getting familiar with everything, feeling the grass beneath the feet and drinking in the smells and reaching out with all of your senses, well, someone walks up to you and stands in front of you and looks directly into your eyes. And it may seem strange at first, but you know this person. You might not know how or why, but you can just feel you know this person. Even as they put their hands on your shoulders, so looking into your eyes, always looking into your eyes with love and grace and harmony and peace and forgiveness. This is your inner Adam, and they love you unconditionally. This is the part of you that guards this garden and keeps you safe in the outer world. And they're here today to tell you that, well, that everything's okay. They're here to tell you that they love you and they understand. And you're a lot stronger than you may have ever realized. You're a lot more beautiful both inside and out than anyone could possibly know. But your inner adult knows. They know everything about you. And they understand. In realizing who's in front of you, well, a tear might roll down your eye. You reach out and hug your inner adult and speak to them. Maybe tell them you're sorry. Tell them you're doing your best. Tell them you care. Tell them you still love. And feel their warmth and love in this powerful embrace, filling you with love. be surprised to find that as you hug your inner adult, you actually begin to glow. Your spiritual essence begins to heal brighter and brighter, your body becoming warmer and warmer. And maybe taking another moment and saying something a little more personal to your inner adult and listening for the response. Maybe your inner adult speaks to you a few words of wisdom or advice, or love. As 
So simply allowing my words to fade into the background now as you speak with your inner adult. Always allowing my words to become your words. Sometimes even repeating some of the powerful affirmations. Knowing that this level of the mind is connected to the universal consciousness. And perhaps you can actually speak to you about things that you forgot to remember a long, long time ago. So take this moment and ask this part of you all of the questions that you've always wanted to ask. But there was never anyone to answer until now. Because once again, this is your time. This is your life. This is your gift. So carrying on that conversation with your inner adult. It's allowing my voice to fade into the background. Knowing now and trusting now. You've become so deeply relaxed. So deeply relaxed that your mind has become so sensitive. So receptive to what I say that everything that I put into your mind will sink so deeply into the unconscious part of your mind and will make so deep and lasting an impression there that nothing will erase it. In this condition, your subconscious mind is now at the forefront. It is now readily accessible to my suggestions to you. Consequently, these things that I put into your unconscious mind will begin to exercise a greater and greater influence over the way you think, over the way you feel, over the way you behave. These things will remain firmly embedded in the unconscious part of your mind after you've left here. They will continue to exercise that same great influence over your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions just as strongly, just as surely, just as powerfully. Whether you're safe at home or at work, is when you're actually with me in this room. You're now so very deeply relaxed that everything that I tell you that's going to happen to you for your own good will happen exactly as I tell you. And every feeling that I tell you you will experience, you will experience exactly as I tell you. And these same things will continue to happen to you every day. And you will continue to experience these same feelings every day. Just as strongly, just as surely, just as powerfully. Whether you're safe at home or at work, as you are with me right now. Give your inner adult one big hug and just let go. It's time to explore another part of this garden. And of course, you can return anytime you like. It's simply by closing your eyes and taking a deep breath and retracing your steps into the secret garden in your soul. You see a little child playing by themselves. And the child looks so happy and so peaceful. And when they see you, they come running up and, and they jump into your arms. This child, your inner child, is so happy to see you. They love you so much. And you can feel that this place has been calling you. This magical garden misses you. So just like your inner adult, 
Take a moment and speak to your inner child. Tell them you haven't forgotten about them. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that everything's going to be okay. And as you give your inner child a big hug, you can feel the warmth of your own love growing stronger and stronger for yourself. Feel your spiritual life force energy becoming stronger and stronger as you radiate brighter and brighter. Looking your inner child in the eye and suddenly feeling better about yourself. Suddenly feeling better about the world. Suddenly embracing peace and love. This is your time. So once again, allowing my words to become your words as my voice fades into the background, knowing that maybe there's something you've always wanted to say to your inner child. And maybe, just maybe, there's something that they want to say to you. Knowing now and trusting now, as a result of this hypnotic rest, you're going to feel physically fitter and stronger in every way. You'll feel more alert, more wide awake, more energetic. You'll become much less easily tired, much less easily fatigued, much less easily discouraged, much less easily depressed every day. You will become so deeply interested in whatever you're doing that your mind will become completely distracted away from yourself. You'll no longer think nearly as much about yourself. You'll no longer dwell nearly as much upon yourself and your difficulties. And you will become much less conscious of yourself, much less preoccupied with yourself and your own feelings. Every day, Your nerves will become stronger and steadier. Your mind calmer and clearer. More composed, more placid, more tranquil. You will become much less easily worried. Much less easily agitated. Much less fearful and apprehensive. And much less easily upset. You will begin to think more clearly. You will be able to concentrate more easily. You will give your whole undivided attention to whatever you're doing, to the complete exclusion of everything else. Consequently, your memory will rapidly improve, and you'll be able to see things in the true perspective without magnifying them, without ever allowing them to get out of proportion. Every day, you will become emotionally much calmer, much more settled, much less easily disturbed every day. You will become and you will remain more and more completely relaxed and less tense each day, both mentally and physically. Even when you're no longer here in this sacred healing space. And as you become As you remain more relaxed and less tense each day, so you will develop much more confidence in yourself, more confidence in your ability to do not only what you have to do each day, but more confidence in your ability to do whatever you ought to be able to do without fear of failure, without fear of consequences, without unnecessary anxiety, without uneasiness. Because of this deep hypnotic rest, every day, you will feel much more independent, more able to stick up for yourself, to stand upon your own feet, to hold your own, no matter how difficult or trying things may be, every day. You will feel a greater feeling of personal well-being, 
greater feeling of personal safety and security than you felt in a long, long time. And because all of these things will begin to happen, exactly as I tell you they will happen, more and more rapidly, powerfully, and completely, you will feel much happier, much more contented, much more optimistic in every way. You will consequently become much more able to rely upon and depend upon yourself, your own efforts, your own judgment, your own opinions. You will feel much less need to have to rely upon or depend upon other people. So now giving your inner child one last squeeze, big hug, looking around again, you'll notice that the trees and flowers in the garden are shining with a, a brighter vibrance, as if light and love has been restored and a new sense of vitality and confidence has returned. A new sense of healing and belonging. Maybe a new sense of purpose. And sometimes it just feels good to take a moment for yourself to relax this deeply and reconnect with yourself, if only to say hello. And knowing now and trusting now that as you become and as you remain, more relaxed and less tense each day. So, you will develop much more confidence in yourself. More confidence in your ability to do not only what you have to do each day, but more confidence in your ability to do whatever you ought to be able to do. Without fear of failure, without fear of consequences, without unnecessary anxiety and without uneasiness. Because of this deep hypnotic rest, every day, you will feel much more independent, more able to stick up for yourself, to stand upon your own feet, to hold your own no matter how difficult or trying things may be. Every day, you'll feel a greater feeling of personal well-being, a greater feeling of personal safety and security than you've felt for a long, long time. And because all of these things will begin to happen exactly as I tell you they will happen, more and more rapidly, powerfully, and completely, you will feel much happier, much more contented, much more optimistic in every way. You will consequently become much more able to rely upon and depend upon yourself your own efforts, your own judgment, your own opinions. And you will feel much less need to have to rely upon or to depend upon other people. So now, whenever you're ready, you can allow yourself to drift off into the deepest sleep you've ever imagined. Or if you like, you can take another moment for yourself Take a deep breath, and when you're ready, simply return to the day. Remembering at all times that this is your time. Remembering every day that this is your day, and there's nothing that anyone can say or do to change it. Because this is who you are.